Woo! In this tutorial, we're going to look a little bit about mortar for bricks and for rocks. Once you've made your bricks and stuck them on to make your brick wall, or maybe a rock wall, and you've painted them to make them look more realistic. There are many times when your brick or your rock walls are going to not need much. You just stick them on and sometimes you can even just paint them on and they look quite fine. But there are times when you have a very rocky or bricky sort of wall that it needs a little bit more than just sticking them on. Because when you look through the cracks of the bricks, they look like they're stuck on. So you could do something about that. Notice the difference between stuck on bricks with that sort of flat looking uh, edge in the bottom to these ones which are a lot more realistic looking like they've got mortar between. It's not often that you get rocks that have flat mortar in between. It tends to be a lot more like this, all sort of filled in with mortar. So it's around about here that you don't let your girlfriend or your wife into your workshop to help clean up your desk because it's the hair, all the dust and dirt that's left over from your sandpapering. You don't want your wife or girlfriend to get rid of all this dust because you're going to put it onto your wall and then with a brush you're going to almost brush it off. All the little gritty bits are going to go down the cracks leaving your rocks or your bricks exposed. And that's up to you how much mortaring you want. If you want it to be more exposed cracks, you brush off more of the, the dust. I think I'll leave it around about here. Then you get your white glue water down with water. About 50% water to, to um, glue. And then you're going to saturate it, just painting it in there so that the, the dust gets wet and all of the grit and dirt goes down the cracks to fill up the cracks with a goopy mix, mix of glue and dust. The watery glue helps to wash the, the grit down the cracks and also to seal the rocks and bricks ready for painting and you just now as it soaks in just make sure all the little bits of grit from the mortar are not going to be on the surface of the rocks but down into the cracks then once you've got it painted and into the model you get it looking a lot more realistic and there you have some realistic mortar for your bricks from the rocks <laughs>